I'm working on the treehouse again, finally. Um, here we've got the two main beams uh, resting on that great workmate table. It even works in the backyard. Continue to love that thing. But anyway, these beams are, as I think I previously said, they're double two by eight, so they're th about three inches thick, seven and a half inches tall, and they are, since I've trimmed the edges, they're now about 15 foot eight inches long, something like that, just, uh, just under 16 feet. Um, so what I did is this morning I had some family over and I made them help me drag these out in the backyard because they weigh a lot. And what we did was we rested them on these beams. You can see, uh, I think these beams, these bolts. And you can see I got the bolt here and the bolt down there. And rested them on them, centered it between the two trees, and then made markings on, on the lumber. And uh, in this case, this 4x4 is acting as a tree and I've got the tree down there. So what you can see here is on the side, here I've marked where the 4x4 goes. And on this end, out of the way, I've marked where the tree goes. And I'm doing that because you can see on this one, I'm setting some 3 8 carriage bolts through them that are going to help sandwich them together and reinforce the glue that's in there. And I don't want the carriage bolts where the where the tree is going to be because the tree is on the inside face of these and I'm setting the carriage bolts so they stick through the inside face. And if we look down here, you can see the carriage bolt sticking out and that would be in the way of the tree. So I wanted to make sure they were out of there. So that's the first thing I marked out. And the second thing I marked out, which is going to be easier to see over here, is that is where the bolt rests on the bottom. This is now the bottom of the beam, and that's where the bolt goes. So right there, uh, grab one of these blocks, go one of these brackets. What I actually have to do here is first, I have to install this block, like, like so. Uh, sorry about that. It gets installed basically like that, and that captures the bolt and gives it the gives it the play. So I wanted to set these in exactly the right spot so that'll get centered on where the actual bolt, bolt shows up. So what I'm doing right now is this assembly and prep work here and then, uh, then, then I'll have to by myself get them off the bench and onto here. But today if I can get them bolted together and mounted on these bolts I think I'll be in really good shape. That's the goal at least. It's now going on three o'clock and uh, I have to go to a wake tonight so we'll see where this takes us. Here I have the finished bolts through the first one. See so yeah, I had just long enough bolts to catch and they're all sunken in a bit because this is ACQ even though these boards have been inside since I got them you can see the damp spots. It's the glory of working with ACQ. Um, so this one's all put together. There's 16 of these 3 8 by three and a half inch lag bolts running through there. And next step is going to be the installation of these spacer blocks over where the beams go. And then that clip, the clip actually doesn't get installed until it's in place because the clip has to go under and, and capture the bolt in the clip. So these blocks will get put on first. I'm going to use a combination of glue and screws, so I'm running in to get the glue and screws to put this on now. Then I'll hoist it into place, and then I'll be screwing those in. Keep moving along. We are moving right along. I just got these blocks attached. Uh, as you can see, the boards here, this particular one, I didn't pay attention to lining them up, and because they're each a little bowed, they don't line up well, but as it happens through dumb luck, at this point and the point to the other side where they rest on the bolts, they're relatively even. You can see this one is a little bit lower than that one. I'm not too concerned about it. I Maybe I'm being an idiot there, but I'm thinking that since they're all sistered together and glued and bolted, I, I'm just, I'm not overly concerned about it. So we have this bolt, uh, excuse me, the spacer block. This is another spacer block of ACQ. I ran it under the sink for a minute to wet the bottom side of it, applied some urethane glue, sat it down in the glue, Four stainless steel screws. It's just three quarters of an inch thick. I used inch and a quarter, inch and a half by eight inch stainless steel flathead screws. So I've got three quarters of an inch of penetration into here. Uh, quite frankly, this is just going to be held down. And once 
once the bracket gets dropped over it, I, I could probably just loose lay it in there and it would be fine, but I can't not overdo anything. So here we are with the glue and the screws. Same thing on the other side. Uh, next thing to do is, um, is move it up into place, I think. So here we are, first one lifted up in place. Touch out of breath because it's still heavy. Thankfully, you can kind of leverage it up by myself. And there you can see that the spacer block resting on the beam, on the bolt. It's not quite centered, but I can nudge it a little bit. And next thing I'm going to do is attach those metal straps that will wrap around this way. Should hold the whole thing on nice and tight while allowing some side to side movement and, uh, and in and out movement. So I'm going to get bi directional movement and still good attachment. So hopefully, all the thought I put into this process pays off. We have attachment. This first beam, you see it? It is attached. See here's the metal strap. It's attached with, it's hard to see in the shadows here, but it's attached with some of these wafer head uh, decking screws I've been using in the shop renovation. They got a nice big pancake head, so I was able to install them without a washer. They're four and a half inches tall, so they go way up into here. Plenty of attachment. Um, you can see I got plenty of space on both sides, plenty of space in both directions here. It's stiff. I can't really move it by tugging on it, but I think that's just fine. I don't want it slopping all over the place. Uh, I'm sure if I whack it with a mallet or the trees really move in the wind, we should be okay. So here's the first beam attached. So now it's time to Spend some attention prepping that beam. That beam's a little different because it only gets one of the attachment brackets on that side. And on this side, it's going to attach to this, uh, what I'm calling a tree, this 4x4, with a lag bolt that's just going to go right into here. And because this thing has a lot of sway and I'm not worried about killing it, I'm not going to make the same, uh, you know, joint between the two where one can move independent of the other. This will be permanently attached to that, uh, to the long one. But down here, and down here, it's going to offer a little bit of a challenge too, because this bolt, the other bolt's projection out of the tree is about four inches. This one projects out of the tree about six inches. It's a two inch longer bolt. And the reason I had to have it project out of the tree longer was, as I've mentioned in the previous video, this bolt was originally supposed to catch it when the beam ran to that tree. But since I've shifted, over to that 4x4 as I lose it in the screen. Um, you see how this is at an angle, so the beam runs at an angle to the bolt to the 4x4. So in practice, the beam hits like this, and even with the diagonal, it just barely fits in there. So I'm not sure I might twist the attachment strap a little bit and kind of futz with that in place. But now it's time to start prepping that second beam. I'm calling it a night now because I got to get in and do some other stuff. but. That first beam is all done. And now here's the second beam, uh, let's say temporarily in place. On this end, just resting on that C-clamp and it's actually missing. You can see over here, I ran short of a couple of uh, washers and nuts. And here I ran short of one, two, three bolts. So that's all stuff for another night. I'm gonna find some means of temporarily attaching it so it doesn't fall off. And, uh, and that's what it'll spend, and next time I work on it, hopefully I'll get it permanently mounted to match that one. Let me walk over here, and we can really see the footprint of the treehouse. So, that's where the treehouse is gonna go. Uh, and, this is my favorite part, as silly as it is, I can walk completely underneath it which was my only height requirement. So, not bad for about two hours work on a Sunday afternoon. We'll keep plugging away at it.